One of the big names coming out of the trade deadline was would the Toronto Raptors trade the best player in their history, Kyle Lowry, the guy that was the point guard of a team that won a championship just like three years ago. Kyle Lowry, he's in the last year of his deal. You know, to be real with you, the Raptors feel like they owe Kyle Lowry because he was loyal to them through some very bad times. So essentially, they allowed Kyle Lowry to have his way. If you wanted to be traded, traded great. The, the Raptors were not going to trade Cal Lowry to a bad team. They weren't going to do that. So it was only winners, only good teams, teams that are trying to win a championship this year with the opportunities for, you know, a, a Cal Lowry who's probably out of his prime right now. Uh, I still like Lowry, the player. He really is, is really, you know, you got to just watch basketball to understand how good Cal Lowry can be for your night to night. But I get it. Toronto's, they're not great. They just, they're in the midst of a losing streak right now. Or, you know, just they're not winning a lot of games right now. You know, Fred Van Fleet is their point guard of the future. Pascal Siakam is their their, their star forward of the future. It's probably time to, to blow this thing up. They traded Norman Powell today as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video because I think that was a big move for the Blazers. But for this video, the Cal Lowry thing, man. How what what so here's what we're finding out. Not only were the Raptors willing to trade Cal Lowry. There were some deals on the table. The Raptors were, were pretty clear with teams what it would take to get a deal done. The one that I thought had the most steam was Kyle Lowry going back to Philadelphia. Remember, he played college at Villanova. The Raptors were willing to trade Kyle to the Sixers uh, for Tyrese Maxey, who's a, a, a fine young player, uh, Matisse Thibel, and two draft picks. Now, I'm going to say this. The Sixers are high on Thibault. I do know that. They're high on him, right? And that's what this trade came down to. They didn't want to trade Thibault. I'm just thinking, though, man, why are teams so high on the future and not the present? I am the, I'm the guy on the record of saying, Philly, you don't have a decade of Joel Embiid. You probably got three or four more years of Joel Embiid. If we're following guys of that size and his – Agileness, if that's even a word, word like, yo, you probably got three or four more years of this level of Joel Embiid. Ironically, he's hurt right now. He's out right now. If you're able to get Embiid healthy for the playoffs, this is your year. Ben Simmons still can't shoot. I'm going to repeat that. Ben Simmons still can't shoot. Do I need to say that one more time? Let's do it. Ben Simmons still can't shoot. Not only can he not shoot, he's still uncomfortable taking a shot. Simmons got a smooth-looking jumper. He just won't shoot the damn thing. That's what bothers me. If you're going to go 0 for 3 a game, I'll take you going 0 for 3. Because at some point, 0 for 3 is going to turn for, into 1 for 3. And if you're 33% from the three-point line, Ben, that's enough to keep defenses honest. But he won't shoot the rock. I only say that to say, yo, you got a guy in Kyle Lowry that can and will make big-time shots. In the times when you think Lowry shouldn't take that shot, he will get it up there and make it. Man, if Ben Simmons had to play the four or whatever he plays, the point forward for one year, Kyle Lowry's free. You're telling me you didn't want to give it a try? With, with all that talent in, in, in the East now, with Miami loading the decks, with – I mean, the, the, we know what the Brooklyn Nets are. You're telling me you didn't want to give it a try with Kyle Lowry all because of Matisse Thibel? And, and, and Matisse is big in that locker room. And by the way, Matisse, I hope you're understanding what just happened. The Raptors had a chance at a, a – the Sixers had a chance at a guy that's a you know, former all-star in this league. They didn't pull the trigger over you, young fella. I hope you understand that. Over you. This is all because of you. That that trade didn't get done. I don't know about that one, Philly. You might regret that one in about three and a half months. That one might be one of those you say, damn it, damn it, damn it. Joel Embiid and, and Kyle Lowry sounds tasty. Pause. Tobias Harris and Benson. That, that, that's a formidable five. That's what's going on out east. The east is about formidable fives. Like the Giannis and the Bucks, they're cool, but they ain't formidable. Right? You Look what's going on out east. If, if, if Giannis is able to get to the finals... It'll be so impressive to me. If Philly's able to get to the finals, it's so impressive. Because you got to go through Brooklyn that's got three Hall of Famers, and it's going to likely end up with Blake Griffin in that starting lineup down the stretch. Joe Harris is one of the best shooters in the league. 
if they if they add Andre Drummond, that's that's like candy on top. And by the way, if they don't add Drummond, they still got DeAndre Jordan. That's a great start in five. However, they want to spin it. Okay, the Miami Heat are on the move. Lamarcus is coming, baby. They already got Oladipo. Like yo, 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 yo. You had a chance to have one of them. Tobias, don't scream to me like. Some of these other teams' lineups do. Kyle Lowry, though, with that championship pedigree and his personality is kind of weird on face value, but it works, man. It works. It works. So we we shall see, man. I, they, they, I think I think the Sixers blew an opportunity. Look, I know Ben wants to be the point guard, and I know Doc Rivers and company, they believe in Ben. I get it. I'm surprised that uh, Daryl Moore didn't pull that trigger. Knowing him, like we've seen him get a lot riskier in the past. I'm surprised Daryl Morey didn't, didn't. I'm shocked, man. I am shocked. Look, Ben Simmons say he the best defender in the league. Forget letting him be the point guard. Let him focus on defense. If Ben's not, not doesn't got to be my point guard, let him focus on guarding KD. Let him focus on being the quote unquote defensive player of the year. Since you believe he is that. Nah, he wanted to be the point guard though. The point guard that don't shoot. Catch four new episodes of Pharaoh's music based platform every day only on YouTube. At it's Mr. Teller You can also find clips, updates, giveaways, and more on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also at it's Mr. Teller For all basketball fans, make sure you tune in to Pharaoh's daily highlights, reports, and commentary on YouTube at Hoops Pharaoh. And even more updates on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hoops Pharaoh as well.